So today for breakfast I am having just a classic Japanese natto that I got from the convenience store because I haven't gone grocery shopping yet so I have absolutely like no breakfast food or anything like that. Then I have a coffee here in my mason jar mug that I got from Daiso and this is just instant coffee and a bit of a convenience store coffee mix just that it's not so bitter so I'm going to have that and then probably go grocery shopping later so that I can eat properly once again. Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock here in Japan right now. Um, I had natto for breakfast, which was pretty good. Um, not everyone likes natto, but I've grown to really like it. Like when I first tried it, I hated it. But then when I came to Japan a year ago with Eunice, we had it every day for breakfast. And it's just something I really enjoyed on its own without rice or anything like that. So I had that for breakfast. And then I just had my cup of coffee, instant coffee, bleh. and I did my walls. So as you can see, I have lovely floral walls, and I kind of reorganized some things, getting it ready for when my bed comes in. And yeah, so it's 12 o'clock, like I said. I'm going to try to go grocery shopping, so I'm going to locate our big grocery store that we have nearby. I think it's about an 8 minute walk away. And I'm going to see what they have and try to get some groceries and healthy stuff. So wish me luck you guys, let's go! Okay guys, so I just got back from grocery shopping at my local grocery store. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I got so you can get an idea of what some things in Japan for grocery shopping are like. So first up I got some yogurt and it's just regular yogurt however mind you I don't really know my hiragana, katakana or anything like that yet so I'm not too sure what specifically is different about this yogurt but I got yogurt anyway so that is what a tub of yogurt in Japan generally looks like. Then I got a must have for me and of course it is almond breeze so I picked up some almond breeze because I don't drink milk because I'm lactose intolerant and it really makes me break out. And on top of that, I don't drink soy milk just because it tends, like, in large quantities, it has a lot of female hormones in it. And I don't really, like, feel like that. And I've grown to personally enjoy the texture of almond milk more. And it's just nicer on my stomach and I very much enjoy it. So I picked up two of these. Um, they actually were quite expensive. I think they were, like, $3, $4 each. Yeah. That sounds about right. I also got two carrots. Um, I noticed vegetables are roughly quite affordable here, so I grabbed two of these. I also picked up two lemons just because I really enjoy lemon water in the morning, so I grabbed two of these. Then I picked up some deep fried um, tofu type thing, um, just so I can cut it up and put it in salads or in my food as a side dish whenever I feel like it for added protein and deliciousness. I also picked up two small salmon fillets so that I can have these for lunch or dinner if I want, just because going to the convenience store every day for pre-made things like this can um, get pretty pricey even though it is cheap, but it's just better to make your own. And I also grabbed one ginormous chicken breast that I will cook up for myself for once again lunch or dinner or whatever I feel like it. Then I also grabbed some spinach here and this was about $2.50 roughly um, in Canadian or USD whatever. So I grabbed this bundle here. Then I got some acorn jelly and this is something that you pretty much can't get anywhere in North America, not that I know of at least. And if you can, it's probably hard to find, but this is something that is like staple in Korean, Japanese, and maybe other Asian dishes, but I love it. It's an excellent side dish. It's great for um, 
fiber and I think protein. So if you want something with a lot of fiber that's really going to help you out, then try a corn jelly if you're in Korea or Japan. I really like it. Some people don't. It's maybe an acquired taste, but I really like it. Then, because I can't help myself, I picked up some kimchi so I can have kimchi as a side dish when I feel like it because I love kimchi. I love making like bure jjigae and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to have my kimchi back. I also grabbed some regular or soft tofu so I can make my um, spinach tofu side dish that I love. You guys may have seen that on my Instagram or actually I don't know if I've even ever talked about it. But anyway, I love mashing this up, adding some boiled spinach in it and a little bit of soy sauce, sesame seeds, and it is my favorite thing. Really high in protein and like iron and stuff like that. So I got to that for that reason. Then when I was there, I was looking for um, like peppermint tea and stuff like that to help balance out hormones and relax you and stuff like that. But I couldn't find any, but I did find instead um, rose hip and hibiscus flowers. So those still kind of help with hormones and hibiscus is really good for like detoxifying the body and it's antiviral and anti-inflammatory. So I picked up some of this so that it would kind of give me some additional benefits at nighttime for my night tea. Then I picked up some honey because I don't like using sugar in any of my cooking or in my coffee. Um, I prefer to use honey just because it's a little more of a raw, natural way to get sugar. And um, I just prefer it overall now. It's kind of like the healthier choice over sugar, so I got some of that. I also picked up two tomatoes. These were also pretty cheap, and I just enjoy eating tomatoes in my salad or... Um, I don't know, I, I love tomatoes now, so I got two of these. I grabbed one onion for my cooking. Then I got some fish stock broth so that um, when I'm cooking anything like soups or any kind of thing that needs a base to it, um, I have it now. I'm not too sure if Kim already bought some, but um, I figured I would get it anyway. And plus it was pretty cheap. I think it was about like a dollar or two dollars for a little pack like this, so I figured I'd get it. I also picked up some buckwheat noodles so that um, when I feel like having a starch, I can go for buckwheat noodles instead of um, bread or white rice and stuff like that, just because buckwheat is a healthier alternative. It's high in protein and high in fiber, so it's very good for you to eat buckwheat noodles instead. You can even like, in Korea, I actually used buckwheat noodles for like pasta alternative, and I really enjoyed it. Kyle really enjoyed it too, because it's so high in protein. Um, so definitely check it out. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but once you get used to it, it's so beneficial. And then I picked up some bananas here so I can have banana as a snack because I have realized I don't get enough potassium in my diet. So bananas it is. All right, guys. So that is everything I bought today at the grocery store. I didn't have too much money to spend, but I got some of my staples and essentials for my diet. Um, I'm not good at reading Japanese at all, so I can't tell if anything's vegan or not, but I do try to lean more towards a vegetarian-based diet if I can. Um, just making healthier, wiser choices um, really works well for my body and my stomach and my skin as well. So yeah, that's everything I got. If you want to see more haul videos like these from grocery shopping, then let me know in the comment section down below. And yes, that is my grocery shopping trip in Japan. Okay, so I decided I was going to do this DIY like um, lampshade cover. So it actually is cupcake trays, little small white cupcake trays um, threaded through with string and then I just kind of wrapped it around the light and I'll show you guys what I looked like. I didn't film the whole thing because it actually took me like four hours to do or five hours. Either way, most of the day, but this is what it looks like now. So it looks really cool, right? That 
pretty much is it for today. Um, I basically just cleaned up the house for the first time since I came here. Uh, decorated my room a bit so that it's ahead of itself before my bed arrives tomorrow, which I'm excited for because holy crap, sleeping on that futon on the floor is really hard on my back and my body. Like, I'm sore everywhere and stuff like that, and ugh, it sucks. But I'm really happy that Kim had that futon, like, available from previously, or else I would have had nothing to sleep on, which would have sucked. But anyway, I'm just eating my dinner now, so right here I have some kimchi on top of soba noodles, some boiled chicken breast, and slices of tomato. Um, I'm not too hungry since I came to Japan. Um, I don't know, last time I came to Japan, even though it was for five days, I felt the same way. I just didn't really have, like, an appetite. Um, so I'm just gonna have this for today, and then tomorrow I'm waking up early and hoping my bed arrives early in the morning, before 12, I think. And then we'll see where it goes, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!